If you've ever wanted to create your own custom high quality 3D VTuber avatar for free that can be pulled into applications such as OBS Studio for live streaming and recording, you came to the right video. Before I show you guys how this is done, there's a few things that you're gonna need. First is a Windows or Mac computer with your preferred streaming or recording software installed on it. So that could be OBS Studio, Streamlabs Desktop, or even Prism Live Studio. Next, you're gonna need an iPhone with the face detection or face ID features on it. So that's gonna be an iPhone 10 or later. Older iPhones or Android devices currently won't work with this method. Third, to make it easier for your face to be detected, I highly recommend picking up a phone stand so that you have a designated stabilized place to put your phone. You can get one of these for like 10 bucks on Amazon, but if this doesn't work for you, just find any heavy weighted object like a paperweight or a rock. Any object to put your phone up will work. With that out the way, you're gonna wanna head over to the Apple App Store and search up the Hyper app. Go ahead and download that, and once it's finished installing, launch it, and then you can sign in with your Google account, Twitter, you can use your Apple sign-in, a phone number. I like to go with the Google option myself. You'll need to confirm that you're over the age of 13. After that, you can put in your display name, and then you'll be into the app. What you guys are gonna wanna do first is head over to the far right-hand side and select that tab, and then you'll be able to select the edit avatar option. This is just gonna bring you into editing the default avatar that is already within in hyper but we want to create our own custom one from scratch so to do that you're going to want to select the icon with the arrow pointing to the avatar figure and this is going to take you to where you can access all of your avatars you guys probably don't have any right now so what you guys are going to, want to do is select the new option and this is where you can select whether or not you want a boy or girl icon you can even set the skin tone from dark to light once you've set that you can select show wardrobe and you can go through the many different tabs that are available from skin, faces, hair, irises, eyebrows. There's even clothes in this app that you can customize for your character, which is absolutely wild. Once you've picked out all the items that you want for your character, go ahead to the right hand side and select buy. You're gonna see all of your checkout items listed as well as the amount of coins that you have to spend to get all of those items. And if you're happy with everything and you have the proper amount of coins, of course, you can go ahead and select purchase. By the way, if you wanna take your avatar customization a step further, you can import your own VRM files so back in the edit avatar section and then going back to your list of full avatars you're gonna see a tab for imports if you select that this is where you can import your own new VRM file all right now for the fun part of getting this avatar into a streaming application such as OBS studio I have two different methods to show to you guys but before I do that if you guys are enjoying the video and you want to see more content like this make sure you hit the video with a big thumbs up it helps me out tremendously okay so for method one within the hyper app on the avatar tab around the middle of the screen you should see an icon that says OBS select that and then you should see a full screen image of your avatar from there you're gonna want to select the big red setup OBS button for the first section that says OBS plugin if you're on a Mac computer you're gonna want to keep this turned off if you're on a Windows computer you're gonna want to turn this on and you're gonna need to download hypers free OBS plugin from their website. Now with plugins, they will only work for OBS Studio, so you won't be able to use the other streaming apps in this case with this particular method. It's also important to keep in mind, depending on when you're watching this video, that you're gonna need to be on the correct version of OBS that the Hyper plugin supports. If that all checks out, go ahead and download this plugin by clicking this link here, extract the files, then move those two folders that you just extracted to the OBS Studio folder located with in the program files folder on your C drive. Doing this will not overwrite your existing folders. It will just add new files for this plugin. Back in the Hyper app, make the chroma key green, rotate the studio orientation to be landscape for a better resolution, and then select save. Now you can plug your iPhone into your computer via the USB cable. And if you don't already have iTunes, go ahead and download that so you can trust your iPhone with your Windows computer. Next, make sure you restart OBS. And now when you go to add a new source on Windows, you should see the hyper source that can be added to your scene. In landscape mode, your image is probably going to be squished, so after you apply the source, you can stretch it out by holding the shift key and dragging out the sides. For Mac users, all you need to do is add your iPhone as a video capture device source. From there, go ahead and select save, and then you can reposition your avatar with your two fingers, or even use one finger to pivot the direction that your avatar is facing. Set the full sizing and framing of the avatar as you wish. 
You can trim in the sides by selecting the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac. And then within your streaming software, you're gonna wanna select the avatar source, select the filter option. And then within here, you're gonna wanna add a chroma key filter. And from here, your avatar should have a completely transparent background. The second method I have to show to you guys is the screen mirroring method. And this will work across any streaming application that you have. Now, in order to screen mirror on your Windows or Mac computer, you're gonna need some software to be able to accomplish this. The best screen mirroring software is typically not free. You have Air Server, which Hyper actually recommends. It's $20 one-time fee, or you can check out the application called Do One, which is one of my favorites, and it's $10 a year. But if you guys are on the track of not wanting to pay any money, which I totally get, you guys can check out the application called Let's View. It's 100% free, and you'll need to download it on your phone and also your computer. Go over to the QR code connection option option on the computer and then on your phone if you look to the far right hand side you're going to see that scanning icon if you choose that this is how you can scan the QR code the only other thing i need to do is select start broadcast and you'll see within about a second or two your phone screen pop up on your computer now we can go back to the hyper application make sure that we set up obs this time around we're keeping the obs plugin option turned off chroma key we're still going to want to set that to green if we scroll down a little bit more orientation we're going to want to rotate that to get the best quality possible and once you have that set go ahead and select save and then again, use your two fingers to zoom in and control how close you are to your avatar. And then you can use your pointer finger to adjust the positioning. And once you have it into a good spot, put it on your paperweight rock phone mount. And now we can pull back up OBS. We're gonna select the plus button and add a new window capture source. You can name this VTuber if you want. And then for the window, just make sure that you have the Let's View application selected. We don't need to capture the cursor and this is looking pretty good. We're gonna select OK. I'm gonna right click this real quick and fit it to screen. And now to remove the parts where the watermark is or the top of the Let's View app, we're gonna select the Alt key and then we're just gonna crop this on in at the sides and same with the top. Now all we need to do is select the VTuber source, go to filters, select the plus button, and now we're gonna add the chroma key filter and it's transparent. Close that out and look at that. We are looking fresh and ready to VTube. If you're wondering where I got the backgrounds from that I put my VTuber in front of, I put together the prompt of what I was looking for within the image, and then I just used Bing's AI chat features within the creative mode to generate what I wanted. From there, I could download the image and throw it into OBS. Now, of course, you can get even more creative with this by having different types of images or adding your VTuber avatar over top of your gameplay. Have fun with it, make sure you include your microphone, and have fun VTubing.